Hello and welcome to the 888.com Poker Ashes from Marlebone in central London. Now, some of the most famous names in English and Australian cricket have swapped stumps for straights, pads for pairs and catches for cars as they try to make as much money as possible for their chosen charity. This series has swung both ways. Australia took the lead, helped by the unstoppable Jeff Thompson. They went on to dominate in the second test as well, with skipper Shane Warne and Damian Martin taking the home side apart. But England fought back in the third to bring the series back to 2-1. Warne stopped smiling and the grin was back on Goff's face. Let's quickly take you through the rules and the regulations of the 2009 Poker Ashes alongside a former England Test cricketer, Ed Giddens, now turned poker presenter. But Ed, could you start by just telling us how this tournament format works? Sure, thanks Alex. Right, it's a five test series. Each test match will comprise four Australians and four Englishmen who's going to battle it out on the green bays. Now, there's a point system, so for the winner of each table, they will receive three points, the man who comes second will receive two points, and the man who comes third will receive one point. Boatloads of national pride up for grabs, without doubt, but in terms of hard money, what are these guys playing for? Well, there's $10,000 per test match on offer, and there's $8,000 for the winning team to donate to charity, and for the winner of each table, they get to donate an extra $2,000 to a charity of their choice. Representing Australia from the cricketing world, Dean Jones, Jeff Thompson and Captain Warne, as well as internet qualifier Adam Crones. We were pretty ordinary the last one, last test match, we're bringing the heavies, Mardo out. Dino, Adam, welcome back. Thank you. So we need a good game from you today. Dino, didn't play in a losing test match. Not yet. So uh, let's uh, keep the same form up, two up, change your game. Apparently you threw away some cards, mate, this game. Yeah, I know, I should have yeah, done. You've got to no, play, your game, attack, game. Yeah. play your natural game, Play your natural game. Yeah, yeah. keep attacking right, right. ready? Right, done. Let's go, come on, guys. Good luck, good luck, let's go. And for England, Peter Such was making his Ashes poker debut with Rob Key, Darren Goff and qualifier Glenn Curran. We brought in Suchi for his debut. Thank you. There you go, son. Good to have you, Blazer, for your debut. Thank you very much. Good, good man. Good man. So it's a big game, this. I mean, they've got, obviously, they've got Warney. We get Warney here because we've got Tomo and Dean Jones. We know how they play. They both throw in the chips. Don't really know what they've got in their hands. So there's no Damien Martin. He's the KG one. He's out of this game. So we've got a great chance of levelling it. Big, te big test match. Let's do Come on, lads. Let's go. The players made their way to the table and in the commentary box, England's Min Patel and Grub Smith. Tournament director Barry Mundy, ready with the coin, our two skippers, Shane Warne and Darren Goff. No, we're winning. England. Shane Warne loses the toss. That gives Darren Goff the button. Very, very slight advantage. And we are ready to play. Now we've got a new player in for England, Peter Such. Took six for 67 against Australia as a debutante on the, on the cricket field. What do you reckon on him as a poker player, Min? Well, Such did by his own admission a beginner. So um, he's been coached pretty heavily in the last 24 hours and we'll just see what the uh, fruits of that teaching have been. But uh, Such is not overly confident, but he's had some good schooling from Roy Boy this morning. Excellent. Well, we'll see how he does. He is in the hot seat right next to Shane Warne, the most experienced Australian. Blinds at one and two thousand. And we are ready to go. It's going to be Australian qualifier Adam Clones, the truck driver from Melbourne, to act first. He's picked up six three suited and he does the right thing with them. Good luck, Ryan. Robert Key bumps it up with Ace Queen, gets a stare down from Shane Warne, who would have liked to play his Ace Five. But caution from the super leg spinner. I'll look for it. Yeah. And Good Sachi fold. has certainly learned how to fold. Jeff Thompson, the man who plays almost any two cards, is not going to throw away a king queen. Tomo's in, mate. The real Tomo's rocked up, Keezy. Look out. I'm here. I'm here. let you have it today. I promise you, whatever you got, it doesn't matter. Tomo's hitting. Oh. Yes, an up and down draw for Jeff Thompson and a gut shot draw for Robert Key. All sorts of cards could get people into trouble. That's not one of them. Robert Key correctly surmising that he is in front. 
with that rather passive play on the flop from the usually fearless Jeff Thompson. Nice, Tomo. Encouragement from his Won't skipper. King. Oh, yeah, he's a batsman. Eh? Won't let him go. Oh. That might have helped Tomo. Another blank. Good bet from Keezy. Fired out, even though he blanked the river. Put the pressure on Jeff Thompson. First two tests, this would have been an instant call almost from Jeff Thompson. Having a bit of a dwell on this one. Let's see how he's wised up. 8,000 8, with just a king high. Cool. And that's showing his inexperience. Keezy probably thinks he's behind when he got the call. Ice coin. Ice coin. Tommy, come on, pair. Give us a Have a pair of the board. <coughs> Seven. Will he show or will he muck? No. Oh, oh, I was right. Too. I said king on the oh, river I'm too. dripping because of you. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Warne says he wished there'd been a king on the river. That would actually have given Key the straight. A quick look at the ranking of the hands shows us that right at the bottom of the ladder is high card with four unrelated other cards. Then a pair. Above that is two pairs. Fifth card means nothing. Then there's three of a kind with two unrelated cards. Better than that is a straight. That's five running cards in different suits. Above that, a flush. Five unrelated cards in the same suit. That can be beaten by a full house. Three of a kind with a pair. Pretty good, but four of a kind tops that. It can be beaten itself by a straight flush. Five running cards in the same suit in the right order, and then the big daddy of them all, the royal flush, the 10, jack, queen, king, ace in any suit. Unbeatable. The dealer handing them out, and it's going to be the Aussie skipper, Shane Warne, one of Wisdom's five greatest cricketers of the 20th century. And nothing great about that starting hand, so he dumped it out. Peter Such has been cautious so far, but something about king three has tickled his fancy. Thompson, a revelation, he's tightened up completely. There were no two cards he would not play in the first test, a test which incidentally he won. Oh, like again, he's yeah. obviously it's learned it's a thing or two. Dean Jones seems to have slowed down. He missed out on the third test match. Played very well and very aggressively in the second, but just opting to limp with the ace eight suited in position to Peter Such. These sportsmen are learning fast, aren't they? They came out really reckless in the first test. Now they're a lot more cagey. It means a lot more to them. And of course, the pressure mounting. England made a comeback in the third test. Everything to play for in this in this fourth one. Both the English guys hit a piece of this flop. Peter Such, speculative king three off suit, just hit top pair. The eyes widened there. And what will his opponents make of that move? Dean Jones calling with ace eight. It was only 2,000. You wanted to raise it then, didn't you? Robert Key folds <laughs> middle pair. So two players. <laughs> An English bowler and an Australian batsman are going to go to Fourth Street. And what is going to come? Come on, Suchi. Lovely if you can find a check. Great check from Suchi. Can he induce oh, the bluff? Uh, well, he's certainly spinning a web. 10, into which Dean Jones, like a greedy fly, has just flown. Um, oh, cool. 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 <laughs> Love to see the ace on the end if you're an English supporter here. Just to get J Dean Jones in the pot. Jones very aggressive, so an eight might do it. And Whoa. there is an eight. Um, I'll check. 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 And check. Oh, check. Jones check. canny enough check. to realise he could only be called by Two a better hand. So yeah. Yeah. Two Checks King it three. down, and he is going to lose. That's yeah, yours, Sachi. Well done. <laughs> well done, Sachi. Sachi. Well done, well done. I'm learning. I'm learning. Is that right? Fourth test. Fourth test. Your spot, eh? Cards coming out, and it will be Peter so Such to make Adelaide. the first move. Does now. Did you play with uh, <laughs> Sachi? Played against <laughs> Sachi a lot. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> been around the <laughs> counties for a long, long time. Applied his trade with Essex for the end, most of his career when he played for England. 
I'm not going to play with 8-3. Yeah, nice Jeff Thompson nice reverting to old habits, playing with Jack-3, and he's walked in to a pair of nines. This should be raised. And it is, 12,000 from the England skipper. No nonsense with the nines. Every time. Just wake up with a monster hand on my big line. Same as last game. Adam Clones gets out of the way with the 7-3. The Joe Hashem World Series hand. Joe Hashem, incidentally, has been coaching Shane Warne at poker for the last couple of years. So we expect great things. You can see he's itching to get involved. You just got an ace? What do you get your ace with? <laughs> Hang on, I'll have a look. <laughs> well, you just haven't played a hand for a while, I just want to play a hand. Look at it how you want. <laughs> Should you clean your trash talk up? Okay, I'm going to leave it. I'll leave it to Tomo to take it, mate. Good boy. Yes. 1,000 more. Oh, and Bailey. Oh, okay. I'll play Goffy. Yes. You want to just call in? Pocket nines. No. Exactly. Pocket nines. The best way to do that is say, pick one, anyone you like. For England to win, they need to get someone in first and somebody in either second or third. And only if they win this test can they take it to the wire with a chance of victory. Glenn Curran. Is that just because I said, yeah, we're playing so loose, or are you just deciding you're going to have one? You actually got a hand. I think I got a hand, I think. Foul. Over to Australia's captain. Cool. Cool. 6,000 more. Call on the button. With a jack deuce of diamonds. Notice this trend with Warren. He very rarely likes to let go of his hands no. on the button. Always willing to play the position long. play here. <laughs> well, he knows <laughs> that Glenn Curran is going to miss two flops out of three, whatever cards he's got. The keg was Irish. an got action rid. flop. <laughs> a flush draw for Warren. <laughs> Top pair with a decent kicker for Glenn Curran. You can see some chips flying about in this hand here now. 12,000. Now, how does Warren want to play this? Steam in. He'll probably feel some responsibility as captain not to exit too early. He wants to be there to guide his players through the choppy waters ahead. Otherwise, he might have made a move there. Picked up bottom pair as well as the flush draw, but it could get expensive for Warren if he wants to catch that diamond on the end. 12,000. I rise. rise. Shane, a two to one underdog. 27. Over. Decision time for the man from Derry. Four. What can Glenn put him on, though? Can Glenn? So how can that two have helped Warney? This money could buy Tasmania. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about that. No? Sure. <laughs> buy the rest of he makes the call. Well. He's not a believer. <laughs> we'll go to the river. Warn needs to hit a diamond, a deuce, or a jack. Oh. What an unbelievable river card. Shane Warne is now thinking, how much can I put in to get paid? Very small, callable bet, just the 15,000. I might, th I thought he might do 30, 35,000, but he will get paid off here. Yes, this is tempting value for Curran, and he's going to see how unlucky he was. Cool. Cool. He makes the crying call. Two pair. Good one. Well, well played, Skipper. Oh, that check just helped me in. Runner, oh, runner for Shane Warne. Bang. And that is horrible like for poor Glenn Curran. Hello, mate. Thanks, mate. Well done. That's more like it. I'm sure we can fully understand why you're going. That really is a dangerous sign for England's chances. Of all the players they don't want to have chips, Shane Ward, top of the list. Dean Jones, aggressive middle order batsman. Gets out of the way. Curran, with his fingers burnt, wants none of it. <laughs> the leprechauns under the table can see these cards, and if I played them, I'd look like a complete fool. So, I don't Adam think that's normal. <laughs> I call. Seems cool. to believe in leprechauns. Nice. 
Oh, that's Charlie here. Warney in the cutoff gets involved with Jack Four. Well, why not if you've just won with Jack Deuce? And it's going to be captain on captain. I reckon the position that Warney's got on this table, he fancies himself play, out playing yes. Thompson, Goff, and such post flop. He's happy to limp in and, and play these guys post flop. Yes. Yeah. Well, they have both got a piece of that. Fours for Shane Warne. Sixes for Darren Goff. Hmm. Warren has enough chips to bully with now. Will he get lucky again? Well, close, but it's still the sixes of Darren Goff. Shane Warren, good enough though to sense the weakness. What a great call by Dazzler. Found the courage to call. And that nine is harmless. The hearts may slow everybody down. Oh, representing the flush, Darren Goff. Look at Could this. be a very smart bet here. He's only got a pair of sixes. But this is power poker. And how can Shane Warne call? Well, there you go. One up to the English captain. He really schooled the Aussie there. Hi, Goffy. Thanks, mate. <coughs> the button in front of Jeff Thompson. Glenn Curran, <laughs> the English qualifier. <laughs> not interested. Adam Clones, I don't fancy, will want to get involved. He's not been getting any great cards so far. But at least he's not being tempted into any rash decisions. A very patient man. Shane Warne. Fast playing the sixes. Bumps it up to nine. Four and a half times the big blind. Tomo doesn't like to fold. Certainly not suited cards, Grub. Another 8,000. And the Dazzler in with the ace ten. Dean Jones is a change man. He's obviously had a talking to from mm. Warney in the changing room. Tightened up. So two Australians, one Englishman. All of them bowlers men like you. And there it is, ace, seven, deuce. And that has ruined the sixes in front of Warren. Darren Goff now in front. First to act. And not messing around. 30,000. You only play with aces, don't you? You only play with an ace to start off on. Shane Warren good enough to know what Goff's got there, Min. Yeah, I mean, uh, Goffey's actually putting a lot of pressure on the Australian skipper, his counterpart, and um, Tomo folds one as well. Goffey bossing the table. Before. Yes, even yeah. though Tomo only had queen high, it's quite surprising <laughs> to see him fold. Very easily could have called. <laughs> if Tomo had hit a little bit of that, he might well have got him off. The only player yeah. in trouble yeah. is yeah. qualifier yeah. Glenn Curran. From Ireland, representing England. There he is in the big blind. He got runner, runner beat from Shane Warne. And finally, the other qualifier, the Australian, Adam Clones from Melbourne, finds a hand he can play. He makes it three times the big blind. Classic poker, good enough to get rid of everybody round two. Darren Goff on the button. And Darren has the dog hand, K9. Come out of his own. <laughs> well, Glenn Curran him, Adam. decides that the value was there. 3 5. Well, that's one of Adam Clones's fives, anyway. So oh. We'll, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I think we can safely say that's good deal. Right flop a full house. You, you still don't feel too happy about it. Fancy a 15,000 or so, 12, 15,000 bet here from Adams to try and take the pot down here and then. 10,000. but either of these two players could have been calling with a raggy looking ace. 20. Raised 20,000. Well, the raise is, cool. is odd. You wouldn't expect mm. someone with an ace to raise there. Mind you, who can get inside the mind of England's skipper? It's a great <laughs> bet if you want to get a free, free look That's at the I'm river. Adam, if Adam Clones checks here, oh, 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 well, of course, that has now counterfeited the fives. 
and Darren Goff shoots into the lead with the king. So only a king can chop it now. Something tells me the gods are smiling on Darren Goff. Clones has got to know he's behind now. How can Clones play? You've got to pass. That was unbelievable. Darren Goff really didn't have a right to be in there. Never seen that before. I want to bury it. Have you heard it, Eric King? Never seen that before. If you've been admiring the canvases on the wall, here is the artist, Jocelyn Goolsworthy, a regular fixture at test matches, sitting on the sidelines, painting the action. Today it's a little bit more sedate, just poker. We're certainly seeing plenty of emotion out there, and we're going to see a bit more because it's big slick for Jeff Thompson. Just calls. Cool. And Dean 10, Jones 000. has found a hand. He raises 10,000. Glenn Curran Pass. folded ace nine there. Would have cost him all his chips, really. Round to Robert Key. Now, this could be good news for England if one of the Australians gets knocked out. And seeing who's in this pot, Tomo and Dean Jones, Shane Warne may think his ace is pretty good. No? Nope. Perhaps he's noticed that Jones hasn't been playing too many hands. Pass. Darren Ten. Goff's uh, opted to call in the middle of the two Six. loosest players on the Australian side with the Queen 4. Cool. Suited. Well, he's in an Australian sandwich here. And he'll be very cautious, I'm sure. Jack, he's hit bottom seven. pair. Massive, massive flop for Dean Jones. Can he find... Four. Well, is, Dean, is Jeff Thompson going to lead into him? Four. Just to get some information from Jeff Thompson. Four. It's a very small bet from Thompson and oh my good lord well it's it's Christmas come early for Dean Jones it's a, this is going to be a raise a re-raise from Dean Jones I think Jeff Thompson's got the information he was looking for with his lead out bet yes let's hope Darren Goff has the gumption to get out of the way mind you Jeff Thompson is a wild card. He's unpredictable. Did the right thing. By s oh, dear. This is a bit painful to watch for England fans. Darren Goff is building his own gallows here. Oh. Well, that may, may just slow things down a bit. But if Darren Goff had X-ray vision, he would not be wasting these chips. Darren is going to dent his I'll stack severely. All in, says Dean Jones. The trouble is, Darren Goff, having already put 30,000 in there, <coughs> may think he has to call. It's only 2,000 more. Well, <laughs> it's going to cost him 2,000. Only a very good player can throw this away. <laughs> Never <laughs> nice when you're drawing dead on the turn, is it, Grub? Yeah, this one done and dusted by the time the turn, the cards go over. I'm afraid Darren Goff's inexperience has bit him there where it hurts, right in the box. Oh, Jack. Oh, nice. They know nice. Can't win. River card is irrelevant. A pot of 184,000. Oh. And quad jacks. We've had quad aces on the board. Now quad jacks for Dean Jones. Me and Darren didn't really notice how tight Dean Jones has been playing. <laughs> right, I got a few more ducks than you did, though. Cards doing the circuit. Mostly LBW. Button Warn. in front of Warren. <laughs> Action on straight Darren one. Goff. <laughs> How many times can you get done with a straight one? You used to have nightmares. <coughs> Four thousand. <laughs> Got me ones with their leg spinner, and that's when he was at the Africa. Definitely final one, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Just to get me with a straight one every time. <laughs> Dean Jones, like a funnel web spider, just waiting for another big hand, and he'll come scuttling out of his cave. Boom! Adam Clones tempted in with the King Nine. 
good cool. position to make a big pump there. I don't want to be just letting it all. And any raise? Four. Jeff Thompson making a Four. tiny raise. Four. Now, Four more. Glenn Four Curran in. should go all in here. He does announce that. All in. So that looks nice and trappy. I should get rid of Clonesman. Yeah, we'll get rid of Clones. Uh, I'm not sure he get rid of Jeff Thompson, who is marginally ahead with his ace four. But uh, right move. You can't fault Glenn Curran's move. He was short stacked. Jeff Thompson definitely calls. Go on, two up. Come on, two up. To call. Go over. Of course, we've seen that Clones no. has folded one of the kings. King, queen, ace, Tomo. That's a goodie. Yeah. Nice. Oh, cool. okay. again, so a slight race, advantage race, to the Australians. Glenn <laughs> Curran has been walking wounded since that terrible beat at the hands oh, of Shane Warne. Probably deserves a bit of luck. Boom. Let's see whether he gets it. Seven, Jack. Oh. Yeah. Blank. Blank. That's missed both players. Blank. Blank. Yeah, hold on, Tom, this one's still very much alive. 44,000 in the middle. Two of spades. Another yeah. Jack. So it has to be a king or a queen. No club draw for either player. Hang on. Just Glenn Curran in danger oh, of exiting. Oh, and that is it. Unlucky Glenn Curran did extremely well in the third test, but he's pretty much out for a duck in this one. Yeah, Glenn suffered a horrible bad beat to Shane Warne. Lost a lot of his stack on a runner runner out draw from Shane. And uh, all credit to him. Played valiantly in the third test match. Got England a much needed victory, but the first to depart in the fourth test. I felt less pressure in this one, obviously, after winning the first one. Then Warney was lucky to catch runner-runner against me, and, and that obviously took a lot of my chips. I was just waiting then on two decent cards because I was so sh short-stacked. Caught king-queen and went all in, and unfortunately I didn't hit this thing. Dean Jones well chipped, Shane Warne ditto. Those three English players in the middle, well, three of them, have to try hard. There's no point one of them doing well. We have to get a first, and ideally a second and third as well, to take this test series to the wire. Two. Two. Cards spinning out to our players. It is the pace man, Jeff Thompson on the button. And the qualifier, the Melbourne truck driver, Adam Clones. Five, seven suited, not good enough. Let's see what Robert Key thinks of suited connectors. Well, very, very cautious. Cool. Warren deciding he wants cool. to see a bit of this. No, pass. And Peter Such, well, quite passive with the ace jack. This could be where his inexperience gets him into trouble. Yeah, big time misstep there. Ace jack, Warren's limped in. He hasn't obviously got a monster hand unless he's trapping, but Such has got to find out his ace jack. If it's any good, get rid of the opposition. Yeah. Too many cards seven. for other people to hit, and look at that. Oh. Dean Jones, queen seven. Bit of a tell with that smug smile, I think. <laughs> well, he is certainly a magnet for luck at the moment. 10,000. 10,000. Didn't fancy slow playing it. Sorry, do no race. But look at 35. this. Shane Warne. Raising him. Oh, oh. Well done, Suchi. Gets rid of Suchi, but surely Jones is going to come right back over the top. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. All right. 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 <laughs> 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 We've got such a out, so we're. Ace. Check. And check. King. Check. 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 Two pair. What do you got, Dino? Trip seven's better than two seven. pairs. Oh, oh. Good Shane Warne can't believe it. Well done, Dino. Well done, Dino. Well done. The next best thing to England <laughs> winning a pot <laughs> is an Australian <laughs> taking a big chunk of chips away from their most <laughs> artful <laughs> player, Shane Warne. Good result for England, actually. Team England would be very happy with that. Warney would probably have got away losing less had he just called. D Dean Jones is a really good lead out with 10k, but uh, Warney went to raise him and probably did another 15k unnecessarily. Lines now up to four and eight thousand. That will start to make our short stacks. Jeff Thompson, Shane Warne, and Adam Clones feel a bit squeaky. Peter Such with a suited 10 jack. 
Not in good enough position and a very, very tight fold from Peter. Good to see. Where is Darren Goff in the cutoff? Um, bet. Ten thousand. Well, he's walked into a raise. Dean Jones in the nicest possible way has crabs, pocket threes. I think it's just a min raise from Dean Jones, so um, Goffey might fancy a bit of a gamble. Robert Key showing his cards to Shane Warne. And ten. And Goffey is being lured in again here. Now he. He got bitten very, very badly by Dean Jones, playing exactly this sort of passive calling way. Six, eight. But you've got to like this. He's representing the ace. String. <laughs> Not sure it's a big enough bet, but um, you've got to give him credit Ooh, for it. Brilliant, there. brilliant play by Darren Goff. <coughs> well, that repairs a little bit of the damage he did earlier. Certainly, chips now flowing in the right direction from an English point of view. Showing the bluff as well, trying to rub it into the Aussies. Darren Goff. That is the uh, poker equivalent of sledging. <laughs> Players still in circulation around the table hosting the fourth test in this 888 Poker Ashes series. Best thing I've ever done. It's all right for you, because so you can dance. Eight. What's that? Strictly comes down because you do it on. I know they, did, they asked Slats once, didn't they? He did the ice game, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, and nearly killed himself. I wouldn't do that, yeah. That, <laughs> that's kamikaze material. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what do you want me to do now? <laughs> but I've got to put it all in at once. Yes. Goffey's being tempted in with an ace rag. Pass on. Dean Jones, a reform character, making a lot of folds. Pass. Pass. Clones and key out of the way. And any raise. From the small blind, Shane Warne with near connectors in clubs. We're seeing a good move here from Sachi. I think he's looking to squeeze the pot with pocket nines from the big blind. And they'll probably have to respect a raise from Sachi. He's not been too involved, but has he priced that raise just right? 20,000. Maybe five or ten more would have done it. But look at this, he's attracting customers. There'll be a few overcards out there. Shane Warne cannot now fancy the 5-8, although the value he's getting is excellent. If he had more chips, I think he would definitely be involved, but he's down below 60,000 now. It's the last ball before the end of the day's play. What's it going to be? 40. 57. First real test for Suchi, I think, to see uh, how he plays a hand post-flop out of position. Well, there are plenty of overcards there, and Jeff Thompson has hit one right between the eyeballs. He's made two pair. Of course you are. So out of position. Suchi in the big line. Makes it 30,000. Tomo insta cool. Darren Goff should have a pretty easy decision. Only the back door flush is going to do him really any favours. He cannot believe his ace five is good. That's a call, yeah. Tomo down to 11,000, so whatever happens, Peter Such is not going to scare him out. Now, Goffey really shouldn't have called pre-flop. But neither have enough chips behind him, Grub, here to get away from it, I think. 45,000 behind for Peter. If he loses his pot, he's pretty much dead and buried. So, needs a nine. Oh, that is a full house. I'm going to bet. Well, he's going to bet, he says. It's going to be 11,000. 30. Tomo has 
called with a lot worse than a full house. Well, that's, that's all I got. He calls it. We need you. 11,000. What else for another king to pop up here? Okay. Right, yeah. Turn them over. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon he's got two so this can only be a chop, I think. Oh, king's full of queens. He, the oh. nine is now no good to such. The case king required. That's I don't know if anyone that. passed one, Grub, but no, I don't think so. So the case king and the case king only for Suchi to chop the pot. Well, we've seen quads twice already. Full house. Can we see it again? No, we cannot. And that is a big, big swing to Australia. Got to say, Suchi probably didn't price that pre-flop raise right. The move was good. The pricing was wrong. Dean Jones still out in front. And now Jeff Thompson up there with him. The two loosest players, what they call an Australian Mongo players, maniacs. Well, they've tempered their game. They're picking their spots a lot more sensibly and they are dominating this fourth Ashes test. England will need to get at least a draw here to stand any sort of chance of achieving a result in the series. That means that one of their players has to come first. To win it, we need someone to come first, someone to come second or third. Adam Clones, Queen 10 off suit, hasn't played many hands. That's not in Adam's starting range, we've seen that. Now Robert Key has a lot of responsibility on his shoulders now. He and Goff have got to carry this because Peter Such is in real trouble. <laughs> Warning, needs the chips, needs the uh, 12,000 in the middle from the blinds. He's got the ace, he's got the button. Will he find the raise? Cool. Cool. Just a call. Well, it's the Aussies. And anyway, that's right. Is Jeff Thompson going to let him off the uh, hook? Yeah, what, what do you need? You're against the Australians. He's got his chips down. Wow. You're against the Australians here. Worth. The bet's eight. That's what I meant. What's the bet eight? You want eight more? Oh, right. Okay. Eight enough. plus 20. Oh. No, you're 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 betting against warning. You're in for oh, eight sorry. anyway. So you've just got an option if you want to put some more in. Another one. Another one. Oh. Oh. Eight more. Sorry, I can't count. Sorry. Getting too carried away. Here we go. I'll put him in as well. Cool. Shane Warren disgusted by that raise from his teammate. <laughs> Tom are obviously interested in the individual prize as well, but oh. look how this has worked out for Shane Warren. He has flopped two pair and he is going to get paid if he bets. Well, Warney, very happy to let Jeff Thompson keep these chips by the look of it. It's unselfish from the skipper. Have a look. I think I'm good. Two I pair. I hope you're good, man. Warney wins it with the uh, aces up. Aces. Oh. Aces and a jack. Good luck, man. Good on you, son. Thanks, Tom. Hello, mate. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> so it was good for him to raise it. Yeah. <laughs> the English players will be watching the hands that were turned over there. Getting some idea there. of the range that these Australians play with. Just spreading the love. I just got to make sure he's still in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you just had the head down going Tora, Tora, Tora. Don't leave the money to the captain. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. So no, thanks, Tom. Cards in the air. Yeah. Button in front of Peter Such, so it'll be dangerous Dean Jones. Eight to play. To come out pumping. Not this time. Eight. He really has tightened up. Now Adam Clones here right. at last. Some hand, some cards he can play. Let's make it sixteen. Sixteen. Minimum. That's a minimum raise. Oh, okay. Now. Robert Key, suited, 16. ace queen. Oh. A raise or a call? Okay, 32 points. Well, just a small raise. I'm good. Darren Goff abandoned ship, so just Adam Clones to get by. He makes the call. Key will be a 3 to 1 favourite. And this is a nice, healthy pot, just what the English side needed. Can Key make his ace-queen stand up? Nine, five, well, he's hit the queen, but there are two diamonds Check. out there. A nut-flush draw for Adam Clones. And I can't see how Clones gets away from this. If you're calling with a seven of diamonds, 
and you hit that flop, how can you leave your chips behind? He may shove here. It's 30,000 just to call. Call. Cool. Well, he decides to see one more card. It's a big card. Mm. Big card, this one. Rob Key has top, top. Top pair, top kicker. Oh! And things just got a little bit rosier check, for the Englishman. Check. Ooh. Strange check from Rob. He's got to put him on a draw if he's just flat called on the flop. He, he will be weeping into his pillow if a diamond comes down. Oh, oh he's dear. buried himself. Very. I've got to say, Rob deserved this by not betting the turn. Well, can Rob Key get away from this? He has got three queens. You want to play with the big boys? <laughs> <laughs> Adam Clones. Oh, he could be an Aussie cricketer. He's a wind-up merchant. Oh, getting the rub down as well, Keezy. I mean, oh, got to say, why didn't you bet the turn, Rob? How much? Forty-five. It's everything, mate. Sure. This would put Rob Key <coughs> back in the pavilion. <coughs> <laughs> He's got an ace king. <laughs> if he loses was, uh, this, fire truck just ran past yeah, yeah. England will only have Peter Such and Darren Goff left, and Peter Such is pretty much on life support already. Well, he's, got, well, he's got a queen, mate. More importantly, I'd have to say, Grub, you're probably looking at England's most likely winner on skill level getting knocked out here, so it's a huge, oh, yeah. huge card. Oh. Yeah. Cool. He's now called! Oh, was there a out there? Nut flush. For Adam Clones. Oh, and he's got it. He's and got that it. is horrible. Oh, Poor Rocky like buries his head minutes. in the table. Oh, well played, him. The Australians marching on in this fourth Ashes Test. Oh, it's looking very, very dire for England. You've got to say, Rob, there on the turn, made trip Queens. You've got to say to Clones, if you're in there on the draw, for your stack. Have you got it? Do you want to go in for your stack on the draw, one card to come? And he's given the free card. Knowing he's going to call on the end, so got to say, very badly played by Rob, but uh, probably our best hope to win it just got knocked out. Advantage Australia, big time. I slow played him on the turn because I thought I've got him here. I didn't really look to see what was out there. I then let him get his flush, and when the diamond came, and I thought, I thought, surely I'm just in trouble here. I've got myself in trouble. But for some reason, I almost knew I was beat, but I just had to find out, and uh, it cost me. Australia well on top. England need a miracle. They don't have Ian Botham and Bob Willis to provide it. They do have Darren Goff and Peter Such. Let's hear from them. They're talking to Ed Giddens. Um, well, we can't do a runner, so we've just got to play well and we've got to pick the right gamble. I mean, Such, Such is out. Have got any chips? No, I've probably got a couple more hands left, two, three more hands left. I think left, I've got so just over to, 100. I need to win one quick. We need yeah. to get a queen. queen I think king. you're right. With the, your chips sack, what, about 50 or 60,000? I got a 55, something like that. Okay, yeah. so you've got just over five, well, about five big lines. You've got to shove what, Jack Queen or better. Is that your game yeah. plan? I think so, yeah. Anything like that, then I've got to just go all in and uh, see what I can do. Button in front of that? Jeff Thompson, and it is action on Adam Clones. I follow. He gets out of the way. Shane Warne follows that. suit. Peter Such just calling with the A6. Well, short stack mini should be moving all in. Yeah, there. we've just heard from Peter saying I've got two or three hands to play with, and if you're not going to push them in with A6, you know, you're inviting trouble, and that's probably what he's going to get here. Jeff Thompson makes the call with King Queen. Darren abandoned ship. No, Dean Jones. No raise there. Suchy flying the flag. It's one of Thompson's queens out of the way. Can Peter Such hit an ace? Or a six. Is it? Well, he's hit he's the next got best thing. Yes. Got the nut flush draw. I forgot what it was. Pardon me. Oh my god. This is an automatic shove. All three players have got tremendous flush draws here. <laughs> cool. Check. 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 Say cool, I think, right? Yeah, I did. I said check. <laughs> Peter, come on, you've got to show a bit more yeah, you would. guts than that. You would. Good pass from Dean Jones. Peter Such, all in. Well, better late than never from Peter Such. An auto call from Jeff Thompson. Four to one favourite. Such has got him in here. I mean, not probably in the textbook fashion, but he's got them in there. Four to one favourite. Yeah, that's right. Good luck, Joe. Good luck. 
Come on, two up. <coughs> oh, oh, king give of clubs. Me a club. Give me a club, baby. Oh, oh ace of clubs. Oh, you don't want a club. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Didn't see that. Such king or a coin, that's what you need. Know. King or a coin, come on. I'm not looking. <laughs> Here comes the turn card. Switchy, what were we just saying about the cards? I'm going to fix him when he's going king queen. Come on, <laughs> come on dear. You he do can't it. come up that king you queen. Do it. Well, you never know. You never Surely know. can't. No. Oh, one so bullet swerved by Peter Such. Such. Can he find not. another one? Do not. Has to be a king or a queen on, to on. knock come Peter on. Such out. Oh, and it is that. two very well, good so flushes, nice. but. The good news for England is that Peter Such has an ace, and that is better than Thompson's king. A relieved man. 78,000 most welcome chips for Team England, but you've got to say Peter Such has got to show a little bit more aggression pre-flop and possibly on that flop rather than waiting to be called in. He's got to start moving his chips around, putting pressure on Australians. 78,000, he's back in the game. Get hit by an emu. Jeff Thompson. Fast bowler, sends those back pretty quickly. Cool. Darren Goff is reaching for chips. Cool. Nice. Cool. Mm. No, this is a, this is this is interesting. Nervous? Looks like he's getting some company in this pot. Peter Such in with the 69. Goffey, I can tell you, has a suited Queen 7 in hearts. Black. And that is a 9 for Peter Such, but a 9 also with a better kicker for Shane Warne. Again, Suchy, short stack, get them in there. Ship the lot in and make the decision, Warnies. He's not going to put you on an ace, but um, you need to get them in right now. 20,000 is a significant slice of Peter Such's stack. And what is Darren Goff so that up would to? Be a string that again. That would be a bet, would it? Raise. Well, this, oh, wow. this may work against Shane Warne, oddly enough. The bet and the raise may make him think Thank that his nine king. is yeah. no good. Mm, good match for him. He's going to be thinking about the way they've played their hands so far. He knows that Darren Goff has a pretty wide range. I've got a nine. The got fact nine. that he's calling his card. Sent a pass to you, Grub. I sent a pass to Such might be trying to pull a move, too. How much more have you got over there, Goffy? 60, 70, you got eight over there. 80, this is what it's all about. Here's the ashes just here. It's kind of funny you've got the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have we seen that before? <laughs> I have had the best against Australia in my whole career, so I think I'm are quite you? confident. Yeah, are you? How many Ashes series did you win, Goffy? No, no. There are. No. <laughs> Individually. <laughs> I did all right. <coughs> Do you want to have a side bet? You haven't got the ace? Do whatever you want, mate. I can't do any more. I'm going to put that in. Unless you're good, you could have put the more in. <laughs> well, this mm. Go on, mate. Little fella, mm. Fair enough, too. Uh, and Shane Warne was talked yeah. out of that one. Fix that then, do I? Okay. Oh, oh. Peter Such. We're betting against each other here, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, which is really perfect. <laughs> this is a very good call from Mr. Warren. Take it. Okay, pass. Oh. 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 Pretty good news for Team England. Well, yeah, the best hand there, he did. No, yeah. well, come on then, show us you had the ace. Give then. us one cut. Come on, show us you had the ace. Go on. He didn't have an ace. He didn't have an no. ace. Of course you did. He didn't have the ace. Of course you did. Let them think what they want, lads. Let them think what they want. Away. That left only one left in the bag. Uh, Let me yeah. tell you that. Work it out. I did. Dishes. 
Still six-handed in this crucial fourth Ashes test. Button on Peter Such. Action on Dean Jones. Hasn't played many hands, but he's been very successful when he's got involved. Oh, cool. Cool. And he's calling cool. with the Queen cool. Jack. I call. Cool. cool. Shane Warne lured in with his favourite sort of cards, middling connectors. Peter Such just calling on the button. <laughs> so short stacked, you'd imagine yeah. he'd make a move there. Oh, like certainly with the ice. Right. I say it was enough, I think. And Darren Goff with a big ace as well. So will Goffy try and squeeze the play here with a big raise? That would be the correct move. Ace 10 suited. There's that famous poker face. It moves around so much, no one's got an idea what he's thinking. No squeeze, though. And then let's put Dean Jones. Careful this time, in position A, and Goffey, instead of betting when he was in front, now bets when he's behind. Bet 50. And it's a, it's a raise here, 60,000 from Dean Jones. If you're going to bet 30 coming out on the flop when you've missed it, why are you not putting that 30 in pre-flop, Grub? Well, ask not to reason why. Darren Goff, rush of blood to the head. And now oh. he's calling, Ooh. and he must go. know. Monster. He's, mm. Monster pot. he's well behind. I must admit, I find that baffling. He's played some hands so ball. well, and other hands Ooh. in the most extraordinary fashion. And now he is drawing very, very thin indeed. Ooh, slow down, I reckon, Goffy. Slow down, mate. All in. All oh. in. Oh. Can Jones fold top pair with a queen kicker? Right. I don't think he can. No chance. Dean Jones will call it. I think he'll have a think about it, but... The defining moment. Yep, yeah. Here it is. Well, if I go, yeah, and win, there's only one blue bottle left, isn't there? That's correct. And we're not here for a haircut because you've already had yours, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you've had one too, haven't you? We had, no, could do with all them. Oh, he wants one. Next one in there. That's the trouble. We're all clearing up. A pot of a quarter of a million chips. The ashes at stake. What's the pot there? Seventy-six thousand. Oh, cool. And Dean Jones makes the Turn call. Over. On your day now. The cards right, are going to get rolled over, and the Australians are going to love it. Darren Goff drawing to three aces. We know that Peter cool. Such has passed one. Ace queen or something. Ace. Ace ten. Dino got a pair, surely. Yeah, well done. Good call, Dino. Yeah. Good daughter. Yeah. Good call. So, this is almost the ashes. <coughs> Needs an ace. Needs an ace. How many cards left in that pack? Three cards. Is it an ace? Oh. It isn't. And Darren Brandy Goff nine. is Safe. out. Safe. The Dazzler, well, he chanced his arm one time too many. And Dean Jones snapped on him like the jaws of a crocodile. Darren, good, good on you, mate. England, 4 1 well, down. <laughs> this will be a good comeback. This will be a, good comeback. <laughs> will be a magnificent comeback. So, Chief, remember, remember Beefy's ashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely bushwhacked. <laughs> I'm absolutely gone, honestly. I mean, um, there I knew we were, we were under the cosh, and I tried to do what Australia doing, doing. Change the momentum and just try to go on something. I had nothing, and I just tried to out-bluff him, and um, we needed chips. Such has got about $25 uh, left, <laughs> and so we just had to go for it. There are 800,000 chips on this table, only 28,000 in the possession of England's Peter Such. He has to win this tournament if England are to stand a chance of getting anything from this Ashes series. And look at the mountain he has to climb. It's a range of mountains. Thompson, Warren, Clones, Jones, all dominating him. Can he do it? Jeff Thompson to act first. Certainly bashed a few palms in his time. Ah, got to play game for once. Had, a re had a enough rest. Cool. Pass. 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 
Just a call. Now Shane Warne may stay in to double the chances of beating Peter Such. No. I'm going to play and uh, last time, no. I suppose, Peter Such no. has found no, if you win. Well, Queen mate, three. He in, is heartily Good dominated. Oh, Horrible spot for Suchi. Short stat. Dwindled his so chips away and down to three outs. The three Good threes. Luck, Suchet. 12. There you go. Like an like 12, anyway. Jeff Thompson in the first test, sucked out on everyone left, right and centre. Peter Such is going to need some of that. The cards go over and the Australians will be whooping. Queen three. Queen three. Dominated. I tell you, a little three can help you. It can. can do. This is it. This is it. This is the ashes. The pitcher's card. This is the poker ashes. This is it. Suchi, it's all on your shoulders. Thanks. This is it. And you came into it. Britain with a three? <laughs> Here it is. You never know your luck. You three, three, three on the flop. Three, three, three. Just a couple alerting. The ball's a bit soft at the moment, too, so. New ball's due. Oh. 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 King Queen. Looking bleak here, Grub. Looking bleak for England. Yes, Peter Such, very much a tail ender. He looks like a rabbit in the headlights. Peter Whoa, Such now a 7% shot. Rest the poker zero. ashes rest on this card. This is it. This is it. Has to be a three. First poker ashes. Dina. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh. And that is it. Peter well Such well done, is well done, out. Well done, well done. In fifth place. Well done, it's a whitewash well done, in this particular well test match for Australia. Well and they have secured well the 8 8 8 poker well ashes. They take an un unbeatable 3 1 lead. Handshakes and congratulations all round. They've certainly played well. <laughs> Dean Jones and Jeff Thompson <laughs> changed their style of play. Clones and Shane Warne. Have been steady as rocks, oh, well, and they have destroyed the England. Oh, oh, here we go. Then. Now there's no more protection. Right now. No, no more protection. No more protection. Yeah, it's looking a bit oh, It's nice to come back after the 2005 Ashes and Wooly oh, Ashes, isn't it? Yeah. Peter, um, I felt for you out there. You had a full house of four Aussies sledging you. Even the internet qualifier, Adam Clones, was uh, giving you some verbals. Well, it's just the way it was, really. You know, I sort of you have to cop it on the chin and get on with it, really. Um, they, they played it better than us today. These Australians have vanquished every single English player and now they're left to fight it out for that first prize, a donation to their charity. They can now relax and have fun. Too strong in the end, too good to Australian. I suppose, how proud are you of your guys, Shane? Yeah, look, very good. Uh, you know, the third test uh, was played well by England. They fought back, but uh, in the fourth test, we just uh, picked our shoes up Picked our socks up and played some pretty good poker. Got some lucky at times as well. Uh, Adams knocking out Robert Key and this one was a big turning point. Uh, and then Dino with Goffey. So, yeah, look, the boys played really well. Very happy with it. But, um, you know, this could be a bit of fun these last, last few as well. Are you perhaps even a little bit surprised at how well some of your guys have played? I'm thinking of, obviously of Jeff Thompson, who's, uh, who's shown a real flamboyance at the table, isn't he? Yeah, I think, I think Tomo's surprised a few. And uh, Damien Martin, I uh, thought he's played very solid through the the whole uh, poker ashes, but uh, yeah, look, it's been great fun, there's been some good banter, and it's nice to get the first one, uh, the inaugural poker ashes to get the first one is nice. Sweet to be taking the urn home once again, I suppose. <laughs> yes, and hopefully it's a reflection uh, of what's going on in the ashes on the field too, hopefully that's the end result of the, the cricket as well. Okay, well we'll let you get back out to the table to sort it out. Well done to Thanks, you and your mate. team though. Cheers, thank stuff. you. Well done, Chad. What's your favourite ground you play? Do you always like Lords or do you like other grounds? Lords. Yeah? Love playing Old Trafford, obviously. Rags. And yeah, it's hard to feel the slips. Shit. You can't see the yeah. ball either. Yeah. Shane Warne. I raise. Right. Looks down at cards he wants to raise with. Well, he's coached by Joe Hasham. 35. 7-3 35, the hand yeah, Hasham had when he won the World Series main there. event. Cool. But of course, he wasn't playing against Jeff Thompson. Nice. Sentimental favourite from Warney from his oh. coach. So. Um, We'll see how it goes. I can't see Tomo folding too much now. He's just against his mates. It's going to take a lot of betting to get Tomo off a hand now, I think. Warren and Thompson are the two shorter stacks at this table. It's Murphy. It's Murphy. We'll see a flop, and it will be the captain to go first. He couldn't stay without a drink. Well, if only he's been coached by Doyle Brunson, he would have made a house. 
as it is. Can Tomo call with the King Nine? I'm in. Oh. Answer: Yes, he can. Oops, oh, sorry. Tomo. Now he's liberated from having to play steady and win the game for Australia. Has gone back to his unreadable self. But look at that. A three on the river Ooh, to Shane Moore. Last card. I got a three. Do ah, I? Gives him two pairs. Three's up. And that is good enough to beat two's up Thompson. Well, Warney has ridden Lady Luck pretty well. I mean, knocked out our qualified Glenn Cohen with a horrible runner runner. And every time he's needed a bit of help on the river, Warney has found it. As our four Australians go to war. 20,000 to play. Action on Jeff Thompson. <laughs> His team have certainly given the English a right royal gubbing. Let's see what they can do to each other. Bet. Oh, Dino's got a hand. Dino indeed does have a hand. Min Rays makes it 40. Was oh, this the hand, Adam? No. Shane Warne makes a speculative call with the Queen 3. Come on, hit! I must admit, I've been really impressed by Dean Jones. Completely <laughs> transformed his game. But unfortunately, he has transformed the luck of Shane Warne. I'm all in. Shane Warne is running absolutely golden. If Dean Jones passes this hands, we have seen drastic improvements in Dean Jones's play, but I think he's going to lose the lot. Well, he does have a chip advantage over Shane Warne, so he'll still be in this. Good life, Al. But he is drawing oh, as thin oh, 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 as oh, oh, oh. Oh, Twiggy. A, that, that's a naughty look. And the last <laughs> time I saw that, it was. Don't tell me you've got a queen as well. Don't tell me you've got a queen as well. Sergio Garcia gave that to Tiger Woods. Oh, check it. Oh, wow. Well, that's not a good look. Well, I do hope Shane Warne's going to go and buy a lottery well, ticket. You've got to turn over a queen then, too. <laughs> Jack is no good, it would give Warren a full house. Drawing dead on the turn, Dean Jones. Shane Warren Thanks. does get a full house. Queen's full of Whoa. servants. That took away one of the skyscrapers. <laughs> Plenty more where that come from. <laughs> I finished fourth in the last one, I'll finish fourth again. <laughs> <laughs> he did manage to Ten win to the that, individual prize that, in the second test. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, you and you're probably, right, yeah, bragging yeah, rights, you, you get the right. sense are important to a superstar yeah. like Shane Moore. Action is going to be on Dean Jones. Ace nine. Cool. Just a call. Or does Adam Clones fancy on the button? Ten four of diamonds, the convoy hand. Not good enough. Now we know Shane likes these little connecting cards. Cool. And wants to see a flop. Mm, his Tom spades Mo. could run into trouble. <laughs> Yeah, it's not team play now, Dean. Tom has <laughs> very, very short stack. <laughs> Decides to put some of his money in, but not all of it. Curious, just an extra 20,000. Oh, he's certainly getting the odds to make this call. And he knows that Thompson only has an extra 20,000 behind. Wow, that's extraordinary. All in. Take cards, please. Jones yep. is going to be yeah, way in front. Go. Six to four favourite. Race. Not quite a race. 40. Shane. Come on, the black. And there oh. is the ace. And then he's going to kill this one dead. A five, of course, <laughs> would give Thompson a straight. Not to come on holidays. But the five of clubs oh, would give up. Jones a redraw Jack. for the flush. Okay. Hasn't happened. Jack's no good. Need a five. five. Just a five, five. five to keep Jeff out. Thompson in this. Oh, no good. Uh, fast bowler goes out in fourth. Thank you. Thanks, Thompson. Dino gets some back. I thought I might have snuck. Not all the ones I lost to you. 
I've got to say, hats off Jeff Thompson, fast right. learner, Here improved his game dramatically. Now, what were the tactics today? Because they brought you in as the man who played any two cards, and you, you change your game, you bamzo bamzooled them totally. Yeah, I did. I uh, played a totally different game. So did Goffey today. He had me a little worried to start with Goffey, and then I worked out what he was on about. But, uh, yeah. but uh, no, 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 we played well. Is this the one, Adam? 20,000 to cool. Yeah, they want to see him, don't they? Ace nine off suit. A raising hand on the button, raise surely. 40. 40 to play. A very small raise. The minimum raise makes it 40. So it'll be 30 more to Shane Warne. Queen eight. He is oh, our chip cool. leader. Cool. Cool. And he's getting in relatively more. cheap. And this could be Dead three way eight. action. Making 80 total. Yep. It's another min raise from Dean Jones, so I don't think he's going to push away Adam Clones with the ace on the button. He might get rid of Warney, but uh, I think Clones is in for the right. Cool. Cool. Well, Shane decides the price was right. And he's by no means a massive underdog. Paint flop here would be interesting. Well, let's see what comes down. Well, Shane Warne has an eight. That gives him 30. an up and 30. down straight draw. 50. Two spades 60. gives 60. Jones a straight draw and a flush draw. All in, 70. All in 70. Wow, and we could see them all go in here. Yes, this could be the end of this particular call. test match. Come on, hit here, please. The jack of Either spades. Way is in Dean Jones's hand. What does he need? The Queen of Spades gives him the straight flush. Well, we've seen some miracles today. We've seen quads twice. A straight flush would be amazing. <laughs> I'm all in. Well, all that in. gives Warren the straight to the jack. <laughs> and I don't see Dino folding. Station, Can't see Dean Jones folding this. <laughs> I'll go with you. Actually, right. Warren's got the straight to the Queen, of mm -hmm. course. Good luck, fellas. How much has he got? 90. <laughs> So, Dean Jones Again, needs a queen or a spade. Clones, I'm afraid, is going to be leaving us whatever happens. Look at those odds. Three to one favourite, Shane Warne, one of the greatest cricketers of all time. Queen can do it, Dino. Mm. A queen or a spade? Or a spade. Yeah, queen or a spade, boy. Oh, and gets the spike. And he's hit it on the river. Makes the nut flush. Dean Jones for a massive pot. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Cheers, mate. Okay, Adam. Come on, mate. Thanks, bud. Oh. Adam Clones, well, his work was done. Once I England had lost this test match, he can walk off with some pride. That's, that's, that's arsey. Uh. Sorry for hitting my straight. Oh. Gave the English boys some serious grief out there. No, but yeah, when you're born... When growing up in Australia, it's just a natural thing that we learn at school. <laughs> OK, well, you got an A grade in it, I should imagine. Now, what uh, about... got me to university. <laughs> of those English players, did any of them impress you? Every one of them impressed me, impressed me as gentlemen. The one that impressed me as a card player was Darren Goff. I thought he played tight when he needed to. He loosened up too early, that's all. But a little bit of coaching. Send him down to Australia for a couple of months, I reckon he'd be. You yeah, reckon he could do yeah. You reckon he could be with Shane yeah. Warne on the professional circuit? I don't think anybody can compete with Shane Warne on any circuit. Stop it. Eh? I can't. You're incorrigible. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. I'm all in. Raise all in. Forget it. Pass. This is pretty good tactics from Shane Warne with any two cards. Still has the chip disadvantage. This time Dean Jones to act first. Forty thousand. Jacks have been good to Dean Jones today. And he likes the Motown hand. Jackson five. 
What's the flop going to bring? Well, that is an action flop. I'm all in. Morn is flopped the okay. absolute nut straight with three oh, spades right. out there. Jones has got the flush draw. We are yeah, all in with the call. Yeah. Oh, Four, spades. Five, six, seven, eight okay, for Warren. Spades got, are the only what friends got, that mate? Dean Jones has got left in the pack. What do you got? And if he does hit it, Dean Jones oh, takes straight. the master down. Oh, yeah? Have you? I, I've got a five. But I've also got a spade. Oh. Warn a six to four favourite. They haven't won tonight. Mate, there's He's only one to dodge. Two bullets. Good luck. Oh. And he's found oh. it. Bang. Well, the seven of spades would chop well this done, up with a straight it's flush on the board. Well done, well and done, well done. the sort of game we've been having today, I really wouldn't put it past it. Ace of spades would be nice. Seven. Seven of spades. Oh, it was close, well but done, there man. it is. Cheers, Dean well Jones done, has well done, well overcome done. the superior well done, poker well player well and his own captain Thanks, to win Thanks, the fourth man. test. Does it mean more to win the poker ashes or to lose to Dean Jones heads up? It's never nice losing to Dino full stop, but to win the poker ashes was the main aim and I thought we did that pretty well today. True Aussie grit has won you the poker mm. ashes. We're in the fifth rubber now. We're going to play the fifth test. It's a dead test match for you guys. But will you be trying as hard to beat England as you did against Shea Morn heads up just then? <laughs> Look, I've played so much cricket, and there's no such thing as a test te uh, dead rubber or anything like that. When you play against England, it, it's bragging rights. And, you know, we might have lost one test match, but we're going to try and bury him for one. Do you know what, Dean? Something tells me you're telling the truth there. <laughs> Very well played. Uh, thanks, mate. Good idea. Cheers. So in the end, it was something of an Aussie procession to the 2009 Poker Ashes. The English effectively losing by an innings and 10 wickets. They can expect a real verbal bashing in the fifth and final test. We'll see you then, but from all the team, it's bye for now. The Poker Ashes, sponsored by 888.com.